<laughs> not really sure of value on them. Feels very much like cars, like the cartoon cars. Disney's cartoon. This one's heavier. Ooh, what's this? I like the bin. up locker nuts we're going to do some more unboxing today we've got this stack right here we've got this box right here we're in my garage and all these boxes came out of the no show locker so if you don't remember that one let me give you a quick recap we bought this locker for 50 bucks at the storage auction when no one else showed up to bid it was a huge 10 by 20 full of boxes full of dust supposedly the owner passed away that's what we were told and we have found amazing stuff in there. Lots of collectibles, lots of tools, lots of great stuff, very clean. And it's just been a total joy to go through. A lot of the stuff has made it to our live auctions, which are every Monday at 6 p.m. and sometimes midweek as well. So let's get to this right here. Super heavy, right? Super heavy. It says right there, photography books. I did take a peek inside and it looks pretty good. Ready to get started? All right, you know what? It's actually looking not too bad outside. It was supposed to maybe rain today. And that's why I didn't go to the unit, but I see the sun's out. At least right now it is. Wide World Atlas. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Lots of maps. A lot of neat maps. I can imagine that even if somebody doesn't want to look through this for the maps, because it's obviously printed before Google Maps was a thing, uh, or even MapQuest for that matter. You guys remember that? You could pull the pages out of here and do some decoupage and make some really interesting pieces. I think that's a that's a useful book right there. But this is what I'm after right here. I peeked in here and I saw that, oh my goodness, Ansel Adams, a book. So the reason why I'm excited about that is because we had some other Ansel Adams books and we sold them in our auction. And in case you guys don't know, every Monday we do an auction at 6 p.m. I just mentioned it, but I'll mention it again. And, ooh, wow, this is cool. I see some people in here. It's portrait photography. He's mostly known, I mean, he's famously known for his shots of Yosemite, especially. He does a lot of landscape photography. Um, master, right? And the books we sold at our auction went very, very well. Lots of bids, lots of interest. And these will be also featured in one of our upcoming auctions. Look at this, Autobi an autobiography, Ansel Adams, great. Being careful with these books because these do have significant value to them. Look at this, The Negative. It's a series book two. And here is series book three, The Print. Let's hope we got the full set right here. Book one, The Camera. Okay, Pathways to Discovery, Exploring America's National Trails, okay? You see where that would tie into Ansel Adams stuff. The Emerald Realm, Earth's Precious Rainforest. That sounds actually pretty interesting. Yosemite, an American treasure. Grand Canyon Country. Now, this is National Geographic. Ansel Adams books are the money right here. Ansel Adams examples, the making of 40 photographs. Nice, nice. Personal view of food through the art of photography. Delicacies. Another photography book. Beyond Basic Photography. There we go. Ansel Adams, Photographs of the Southwest. Yeah, that's cool. Wow, those are so cool. Really, really, really nice, really nice. Okay. Moments, the Pulitzer Prize photographs, 1942 to 1982. This dude was really into photography. Oh, wow. Very nice. Oh, wow. The Andrea Doria. All right, what is this? It says Chevron right here. 
Huh. Very cool. That's some oil industry photos. 100 years helping to create the future. And it's got the Chevron badge here, so this is a book on Chevron history, I guess. The Portfolios of Ansel Adams. Okay, nice. So cool. So that was cool. That was some cool books in there. Good find. I was really liking that. This box here, it is marked Chevron Cars in the front here. You can see that. Oh, there we go. Chevron Cars, all right? This is what I was talking about in the last video. If you watched that, I pulled one of these Chevron Cars out. I'm not really sure of value on them. That one, I think I looked up as about 30 bucks. These, we're going to have to spend some time looking these up. I mean, not a whole much time. I just don't have that much time, but... Uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of research on these, see what kind of market there is. Or uh, maybe we just put these in our in our um, auction and see how they go. But these are easy, the little ones, because those are easy to ship. The bigger ones are going to be... Those are gonna, oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. It's Breast Cancer Awareness car. It's pink. It's, oh, look at all these keychains. That's kind of interesting. Gearbox Collection. Token 1950s gas pump. Very cool. Very, very cool. And here's another one. These are like little miniatures of all the gas pumps. Definitely ties in with the guy working at Chevron. Oh, well, here's another one. Not quite as miniature, a little bit bigger. Uh, Wayne gas pump replica. It says Chevron cars, but we have a little bit of extra stuff too. But this kind of stuff, look at this. We've got a fantastic collection here. But does anyone buy them? Does anybody want them? Leo Limo. Very cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's neat, huh? Feels very much like cars, like the cartoon cars. Disney's cartoon. Right? Because it's got the faces on there. It gives them real personality. Popcorn snacks. Hank Hot Rod. Della Deluxe. Sally School Bus. Look at that. It's cool how they've got the plastic, transparent plastic side on this, so you can see the face. The face definitely does give it personality. And you look right here, looks like the top comes off, pushed down on Sally while she's rolling and her eyes move side to side. That's funny. Push the red button to open the door and flip out the stop sign. How cool. All right, next box. And this one also says Chevron cars, so uh, not a big surprise what we got here. We got some Chevron cars. So I did a little bit of research on these, and uh, yeah, they don't have a like super high value. A little dusty on that. Um, but it looks like on eBay, mm, 10 to 15 bucks each. Yeah, not that much. If you lot them up, if you get a big collection, then they do sell. They're selling anywhere from 100 to three, 400 dollars if you have a large lot. All right, but surprisingly, these are going a little bit better on Amazon. 25 to 35 dollars each at least the one i scanned uh and it'd be an easy little shipper right just get a little box of 10 by 8 by 6 box ship these out no problemo they don't sell too often the sales rank looks like it's about 600,000. but um yeah i got a bunch of them so if i price them right i might get i could probably price them all 20 bucks each and sell them fairly quick on amazon i don't know it's easy to list on amazon easy to list that kind of stuff so Maybe I give that a shot. What do we got here? Oh, that's neat. This is something different now. So here's another gas pump. Chevron, it says, but I don't think this is part of the Chevron cars line. JS-002 gas pump alarm clock. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is Chevron right here. This is plastic. The little ones that we found earlier, those are die cast. So die cast definitely much better, but um, this is kind of a cool little piece. Chevron gas pump bank, but it looks like alarm clock. White. Okay. Uh, maybe it is a bank. I don't know. This one says blue. Could it be a bank alarm clock? All right. That one says Chevron. This one says golf. Definitely looks like an alarm clock. It's got the clock there. Let's pick it up. Funny, it's got a rubber hose. Okay. Uh, I guess it is a bank. You put the coin in there and it... Okay. 
Got a penny. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it works. Okay, it does work. As a bank. So we put the battery. All right, you guys want to find out what it does when it goes off? I'm kind of curious. I don't know why, but I am. Okay, let's see what it does, huh? It is ticka ticka in the way. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Ah. There's a button right here. All right, cool. It works. It's not very uh, high end or anything, but it does work. There's another Chevron car. Della Deluxe. That's funny. Okay, a couple more. Pax Power. Oh, look at that. The engine's got a little happy face, too. That's <laughs> what's inside that counts. Okay, Nando. Oh, that's cool. It's a little station wagon. This. Ooh. Oh, look at this. A carrying case. Room for six cars. Huh. That's neat. I mean, if somebody wanted to buy these for their kid, what's the age range on this thing? Three and over. Some, you know, little kid that's into cars. This would be a fun little set. A fun set. Okay, but what do we got here? This is another car. This is limited edition. Hmm. Taylor Taxi. Limited edition. All right. I wonder if that's true. Oh, look at the pigeons. <laughs> that's funny. Next box also says Chevron cars. Let's see what we got. This one's heavier. This one is... Ooh, what's this? It says Matchbox Collections Platinum Edition. 10 bucks when it was new. 30 bucks marked down the 10. Look at all this. Oh, that's a die cast. Um, the old die cast truck with the pump, gas pump on the back. That's kind of interesting. That's different. Sky Chief Marine. Huh. Very cool. Okay, that's a matchbox, huh? And that'll be making it to our next auction. For adult collectors only, age 21 and above. 2001 Mattel. This is Matchbox. Crafted by the greatest name in diecast. Alright, this is another one. This one I don't think's ever been open. They are snug. Snug. Uh, uh. Yeah, look at this. Original tape. Oh, these are heavy too. Look at this. That is really, really cool. Wow. These are like high-end matchbox cars. Bigger, older trucks with the oil tie-in. This is going to definitely be cross-collectible. This is going to be collectible to die-cast collectors, to automobile collectors, and then also specifically oil collectors. Uh, or maybe that's just tools. The other one had the, the tank in the back. But it does say mobile gas. So this is going to have an oil collector tie-in. Very, very cool. These are a nice find right here. Look at this. It's got a certificate of authenticity in there. A AAA. Uh, the Fabulous 50s Road Service Collection. Vintage replica is officially authorized by the American Automobile Association on the eve of its 95th anniversary. Fully detailed replica is produced by and available exclusively, exclusively from... Matchbox collectibles. Very cool. These are these are good. These are a good find right here. Oh, this is cool, guys. All of these. And they wrote the type Peterbilt 862 Sinclair. They wrote the type on each one. There's another one. 1939 Peterbilt tractor trailer. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this one's been open. The tape is already ripped. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. 
Wow. Hello to 100 million years. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, look at that. So cool. Wow, nice piece. 1998. Yeah, this one says Peterbilt, Texaco. I can't believe that they paid 10 bucks for these originally. It just seems so cheap for such a nice, really nice piece. Official gas tanker collection. So it's a little different than the roadside assistants, and they look smaller too. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Take it to the star, Texaco. Man, oh, this is so fun. <laughs> I love finding this stuff. This one says Golf Convoy. This is Dinky. Dinky models of yesteryear, but it is Matchbox. Yep, Matchbox certificate of authenticity right there. Limited to 9,500. That's another one. Look at that. Golf. And with the tanker. I think we sold one of these. I think we had one that was loose, a little tanker. And we sold that already at the auctions. Um, I think. I can't remember for sure. Matchbox. Maybe not. Maybe that was like an Ertl. But this is cool. Another one. Oh, this is another one. No, this is something different now. Let's see what this is. All right, this is another die cast one. Bigger one. Look at that. Chevron dealer. Another die cast. <laughs> Alright, here's another one. Texaco tow truck. 55. 1955, I'll assume. Oh, this is another one of those platinum ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's pretty. That one is pretty. So this is one of those roadside assistants. Roadside Rescue or whatever series. Wow, that's cool. Super cool. Mm, 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 mm. Nice. And it looks like that's it for the die cast. Now we got a whole bunch of Chevron stuff. So, Holly Hatchback. A little shopping cart with the dog in it. Chandler Chip. A little ice cream truck. That's cool. These are very, very fun. They're very fun. Danny Driver. Danny Driver, huh? Student driver. Look out. Riley Roadster. It's nice. It's kind of like my Miata. Leslie LX. Family sedan. CC Boat and Trailer. <laughs> oh, San Francisco. <laughs> oh, there's a horse and trailer. Yeah, get it? Horse. Horse trailer. Pretty funny. Pete Pickup. And he's got a hitch there, so he could be towing one of those trailers. Nice. Casey Coop. There's a bunch of these, isn't there? Freddy Four Wheeler. That's a nice one. These are super, super, like I said, super fun. Super fun. Another one. Chevron cars. All right. Yeah, okay. This is good. I see some die casts. So this is... This is technically a Chevron car, right? Because it is a Chevron tanker, but this is not part of the little toy stuff, the little cartoony toys. This is a, uh, let's hope this is a die cast. The die casts have been really selling well. Wait a sec, wait a sec, okay. There's three batteries floating around here. What is that part of? Oh my goodness, this thing actually, does something. Hang on a sec. It's pretty nice. I don't think that's a die cast though. Okay. Uh, it's not a die cast. This is a plastic plastic model. But uh, right there we've got the three batteries. Let's see what they do. Let's find some batteries. We'll give this a try. It says it's got soft rubber-like tires. Yes, it does. It says it's got working lights. <laughs> I 
Yeah. All right, that's it. It's got lights and it's got sound. Pretty cool. We'll put that in our auction, see if somebody wants it. That's, that's a neat piece. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, yeah. Die cast. Chevron 1990 commemorative series reissued in 1997. Uh, so you got three cars here. That's pretty interesting. There's another one, Chevron, made in England, and it's die-cast replica Chevron fuel delivery truck. Another die-cast. And then, it looks like we got another one of those really nice ones. Let's see. Oh, it's so cool. Actually, this one is just like the other ones. We have two of these. Two of these ones. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Oh, look at that. Door opens. Oh, well, I see some more uh, die cast in there. But look at oh, look at this, a Woody. That's cool, a Woody wagon. Oh, look at that, ragtop. It's a little beetle bug. Volkswagen, nice. Okay, we got some more die casts. This is good, you guys. Made in England. This one's standard oil. Standard oil well repair truck. I love these repair trucks. Another standard oil made in England. That's cool. Or standard lubricants. Delivery truck. Very nice. Standard oil exploration truck. Or it's oil well repair truck. Okay, cool. Okay. Here's another box. This one also says... Chevron cars. This little paper box, like from their office. Oh man, that's what we got. That's what we got. Whole bunch more. Whole bunch more. And we're seeing duplicates now. Okay, we got we got another one of these, which is fine. A couple more of those horse. Uh, What's it called? Horace in trailer. Okay. A couple more of those. That's good. Here's another police Patty Patrol policeman. Danny driver. Same thing. Student driver. We got duplicates now. So. And that's great. Good stuff to sell. This is the last box. And this one is going to be different. Because you see this right here? This that M stands for Mitch, right? I thought we were out of Mitch boxes. Because we went through them all at the storage locker. Darts. Dice. Picture. Miscellaneous. Water tote. Tequila. Bottle. And glasses. Okay. We'll see. Okay, there's a water bottle. That's, that makes a little more sense now. That's not terribly interesting. Okay, all right, they're clean at least. We will be able to sell those at the flea market, but we're not talking about big money. Okay, none of that. All right. Okay, we got a Black & Decker. Hmm screwdriver all right but the question is how do you change the batteries in this where's the battery i don't know uh here we got a shoe shine kit it's decent okay they packed really well these guys they were good packers that's for sure there's a nice coca-cola glass what is this though this is not just bubble wrap Something in here. Ooh. Well, look at that. It's a shot glass. Still got the price tag on it. Wrapped in leather. It says Mexico on it. That's pretty nice. That's nice. Look at that. It's a leather container for that. And then here we've got... Look at They even put tape on there for the cork. Uh, maybe to make it more snug or something. But look at that. That's a nice, really nice. It's like this print's been burned into the leather. Okay. And here's another one. Another shot glass and Coca-Cola glass combination. What do we got here? Oh, we got some pictures. Family pictures. What do we got here? Okay. This looks interesting here. So we got some dice and stuff in there. 
take a look at that in a second. Right here. What is this? Photo album. Ah, more personal photos. And California State Prisoner's Handbook. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe that explains where Mitch went. I thought Mitch went back to Mexico for a while. Maybe he went somewhere for a little bit more extended stay. Sorry, Mitch. Okay. Oh, and we got this. This is heavy. Let's see what's in here. It's kind of a mystery. Got lots of uh, drawers here. I've I've done really well with Stacy Adams. I don't know what that is. Uh, I've done really well with these kind of plastic things before. It's just a bag. Um finding like jewelry and coins and stuff in these types of things so i uh it's heavy i like finding these not these i mean uh, the plastic dividers the organizers sometimes people put valuable stuff in them i'm sure and okay we have some tax paperwork there can't show that okay don't want to show that Right. Okay, we got a um, screwdriver. It's nothing. Another drill. Again, I don't know how to get the battery out, but I don't have the charger anyways. There's a chance that we already sold the charger because we sold a lot of chargers a while back. What's this? Hmm. It's different. And then, resume help packet. Okay. Okay. That's that. Not very exciting. We still got this. Let's see what's in here. Because I think this could be a little bit more interesting. I like the bin. Okay, what's this? What the heck? This guy was, like, seriously serious about his darts i've never seen a container like that for darts with this i thought maybe there's a gun in there okay oh my goodness this thing is this is wicked fancy okay is this worth something that would be nice Hmm. Trying to see if there's a markings on there, but I think it's just scratches. Hmm. Okay. Those are some nice darts. Whoa! That is a nice dart holder. Halix. It's pretty sweet. Some Velcro right there. That's good. Well, oh, not Velcro. Hook and loop. Excuse me. Don't sue me, Velcro. All right. These ones are a little mashed up right here. This one's not been stored properly, like this one. Okay, here's a little vice grip. That's a good one. Okay. Mm. Okay, some little headphones and stuff. I don't care so much about that. These darts, they, they do feel nice. Oh. One. Oh, this for a whiteboard. Uh, this probably went to this dartboard. I sold the dartboard already, but um, geez, look at this. Huh. Helix Impact Metallic Coat Steel Tip Dart Set. This is a fancy, fancy dart set. I'm not sure where the dice come in. But there's this. What's that for? Oh my goodness, these are so fancy. They feel good too. Oh man, I feel like I could even be decent. And then look at it, they got all these different shafts, different, I don't know, is that for, what is that thing for? I don't know. It's got different tails there. And swap some of the parts out. That's some, that's some upper level stuff. Okay. And we got a few dice, a little lock, and a couple more darts. I mean, one more dart. All right, guys, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, but wow, did we not find some really cool stuff? 
mostly the die cast. I think the die cast is the coolest of what we found today. But those Chevron cars, those are a lot of fun too. I know if I had um, kids that were in that, more in that range, the girls wouldn't really be interested in that. And they're a little bit old for it. But if I had youngers and especially boys or just some girls that were interested in, more in cars, that would be a fantastic collection. And really keep them busy for days or weeks. And that's kind of what we would need right now to keep our kids busy. But these, all the die cast pieces that came out of today's boxes, this is just one example. Um, all those you're gonna see in our live auctions. And again, Mondays at 6 p.m. Pacific. Also, we do a midweek auction, usually, not always. This week we didn't, but next week we probably will. But to stay abreast of that sort of stuff, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell. Very, very important because then you'll be notified when we have new videos up as well as schedule lives and that sort of thing. All right. Sometimes we do spontaneous stuff too. Sometimes we'll be at the flea market. Uh, I miss the flea market. But sometimes we'll be at the flea market and we'll just launch a live just because. And uh, that will give you an alert that we've we've gone live. All right. Hit the thumbs up on your way out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Hopefully tomorrow it's going to be sunnier and I'll be over at our locker going through more stuff as well as I think the final boxes in the no show locker series. That's where all this stuff today came out of. Oh man, such a good locker. Really, really good locker. Um, I'm going to be sad when it's over. All right, but it's not more fun to come in the next episode. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.